as a struggle, but I don't think there was a struggle. I think Yelena played really, really well in the first set. I felt that um, I could have done better, but it's just the matter of kind of getting getting that timing and really fighting fighting uh, through it. Uh, but I think I, I I was able to to change. Uh, to change it around in the second set, they really uh, tried to apply the game I wanted to apply. It was in the first set that was a little bit, um, you know, a little bit out, a little bit short. Uh, so I had to get into that timing because I felt that I was doing the right thing. It wasn't, it wasn't the best execution, and she really, really played well. Um, I think it was the beginning of that. I think the whole uh, actually uh, game from the beginning was kind of a, of a changing moment because even though it was love 40, I felt like I went for the shots that I had to go and I started to uh, to believe that that was the right play. And um, but that point was definitely, you know, I, I felt that I, I kind of saw that mo uh, that ball coming and I just went for it. What does that feel like when you win a point? It feels that big, even when you're down. Like no, it just felt it just felt like like a normal point. It just felt that I had to go one at a time because the whole game I was playing one point at a time. Do you feel like you need to step up another level for the final? Uh, we'll see. It's going to be a different match, um, but today I think we both played at a pretty high level, and um, so I'm I'm pretty pretty satisfied with 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 the level. But of course, you always want to improve. But you know, you got to take what it what it is today. The second second final um, between the 2009 and 2045 is in between. There's been a few changes. Can you remember the excitement back then and what the feeling was? Well, back then. We definitely, I don't think it was the same field um, as as it is uh, today. But um, I'm pretty, I'm very happy that after last year, you know, I've been able to to go through and and play and be in the final again. It's it's you know, giving yourself the best opportunity to to fight for the title. And uh, the excitement back then, um, I was just, I think it was my fifth final or something, you know, and I was. So I also wanted to win that first title. So um, this is a little bit different emotion, but definitely a great feeling to be back. Why did you decide to come to Brisbane again, not Sydney? I mean, is it because that extra week, the way Brisbane plays out, gives you that week to get out of the Eagles, or was it? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I love this tournament first of all, and uh, I do like to to have that week in between because you know when you play a play a Grand Slam, it really takes a lot of energy out of you. So to get uh, to have that that week to pre to prepare and really get into it, to it mentally, it really helps a lot. Plus, you have a few commitments to do to do before the tournament, and uh, and that takes a lot of energy too. Victoria, is this kind of what you guys want? First week of the year, two weeks before Slam, you know, Elena or Maria or Serena, world's best, you could have the exact same semi. No, I don't think it's ever too early. I always want to play against the best players each week because that's that's what it what I'm here for to to go every day and try to be the best. Uh, because if you want to win big titles, if you want to win big tournaments, you got to play against the best players. So I, I I feel great about having that challenge every time I step on the court because if there's no challenge, it seems boring and unmotivating. Much different matchups with Maria or Serena than against the Lane. Just talk about that a little more. A little bit more offensive players than she has now. Um, yeah, um, probably a little bit more um, powerful, uh, but I think Elena has improved a lot with her um, being aggressive, uh, especially with her back end. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, but Maria, I haven't played, I don't remember when we played last time. Well, I think. Yeah, so it's definitely a different match, and uh, Serena, you know, we, we played exhibition, but it's it, it's very different, and we always have tough matches. So no matter who I play, it's going to be a very, very big challenge, and that's, you know, that's what you want in the final. What do you remember about the last time you played uh, Maria in Australia, was that final in Melbourne, she won, uh, you first one. What do you remember yeah. about that match? I think a lot of people were pretty surprised at just how they get sad I don't really
really remember much of it. I remember a feeling that I had uh, because I didn't really watch it and I never really do. Uh, but I, th I think I played really well that match and I just, I just have, you know, emotional thoughts about that match. What, what, what do you remember the emotions? Great experience, you know, it was really great. It was just, uh, I was so looking forward to that first final and I was so excited and uh, I was a little bit nervous in the beginning, uh, but then I just, it just felt, it just felt so good. I felt like I was home, I was in the zone. You never predict that. You can never think, okay, right now I'm going to be in the zone. It's, it just happens. It, you know, the things that you go through sometimes, how you pull out the match when you're down or when you uh, have to save a match point, it's tough to explain what was going on in that moment because it's a feeling, it's the thoughts that go through your mind are like thousand thoughts, you know, you go boom, boom, boom. Or sometimes you're just like, okay, well, the ball comes. So it's, it's very tough to predict that. It's tough to explain how you feel in that moment. You just know because it feels good. You're a good analyst. To just take a quick look at Alvarado versus Serena, which you may or may not watch tonight, but what do you see out of that matchup, how they play each other, and why one might win or the other might win? I don't like to predict, but I think both of them are great players, and both are very, very competitive players. And we've seen that, you know, in the past. Um, so I think it's going to be a tough battle, as usual. And, you know, the best one will definitely win. Will you watch? I don't think so. Maybe a little bit, but I don't think so. Because why? <laughs> because you know them both so well, it doesn't really matter? Or you just no, I just don't. I just don't really like to watch a lot of uh, matches sometimes because when you're in the tournament in that free time, you want to just relax a little bit and get your mind off tennis. Because I never like to play the match before I actually step on the court, so that's the only reason. You had two wins over Serena last year. Do you feel like this will continue staying close to her? That's the goal. That's the goal for sure. You know, to to keep to keep challenging, to keep trying to um, to, to to do the best you can and try to win. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.